Today, educators, parents and students got a wake up call of sorts. Student test scores were announced and nationwide math scores saw their largest decreases ever. And this morning, Governor Glenn Youngkin talked about the state of Virginia's public schools and what's being done to address the issue. News 3 reporter Angela Bohan has details on the scores and local reaction. Something to keep in mind is that according to Virginia Beach Schools, this national report card is not about SOLs. Rather, they say it's a random sampling of fourth and eighth grade students across the country. But still, leaders are taking this seriously and talking about ways to help children who need an academic boost. Nearly four in 10 eighth graders failed to grasp basic math concepts. That's according to findings from the National Assessment of Educational Progress. What the, the test scores nationwide are, are showing us is that uh, we've all experienced something collectively. Carlos Clanton, chairperson for the Norfolk Public School Board, says their district offers online tutoring as well as in-person tutoring and that continued funds are key. Funding specialists, reading and math specialists are important because we have to understand that it's not a cookie cutter approach. Agreeing with that sentiment, Colleen Clementson, who was a stay at home mom and recently jumped back into public education. I could say from personal experience, we need more special ed teachers, higher full-time math specialist for every school. Not every elementary school has a full-time math specialist. According to Governor Glenn Youngkin, Virginia has $2 billion left in federal recovery funds. Norfolk City Public Schools have $136 million left. Virginia Beach City Public Schools have $82 million left. The money is in the bank. In fact, Youngkin says he's requiring schools to spend those recovery funds and he announced plans to address what some educators call interrupted learning. Meanwhile, the president of the Virginia Education Association responded with a statement saying, quote, the commitment fails to offer a dime of new spending. It just points to existing spending and it calls for completely insufficient approaches such as requesting tutor volunteers and pointing to free online learning video platforms. And we're sure to hear more on education initiatives in the coming weeks. It's going to take time to come back from this. We can't rush what, what, we, what we've gone through. And for more on the governor's initiatives, as well as the full statement from Virginia Education Association, find this story at WTKR.com. In Norfolk, Angela Bohan, News 3.